everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a buy or buy, buy video. I haven't done one of these in quite a while, um, and I'm going to be doing a review on the Etude Colorful Drawing Watercolor Blushes. So I got all five of the colors, and I tried them all on over the past five days. So I've done swatches of these and showing you guys what they look like on my skin, how I apply them, and what I think about these. So before I get started, if you could like the video, it helps so, so much for my videos to be seen by other people. Um, so yeah, I will get started started and show you guys all of the blushes. So what I love about this is that there's um, a few different colors. There's like a light pink, a darker pink, there is a coral color, there's more of a lavender color, and then there's this really fun, slightly red toned one. So there's definitely a lot of different colors to choose from um, depending on what colors you like or what colors you think flatter your skin tone better. Um, so I like that there's a lot of options for these. Another thing I want to mention is that these would probably be best suited for fair skin tones because they are a little bit more of a sheer product. I feel like on deeper skin tones this probably wouldn't show up as much um, or if it does you would probably have to layer it up quite a bit so I would say that because these are so sheer they're probably suited more towards a fair skin tone I got mine from Rose Rose shop and I paid five dollars and five cents for each of these um, but I checked the price today and they were about five ten so the prices do like fluctuate a couple cents you know every other day or so um, but around five dollars is about the price of these and the size of them are ten grams of product. So I'll get started on the swatches and showing you how I apply these and what they look like on the skin. Okay, so this is the first color drawing blush I'm going to use. This one's in the color Bokeh Rose. This one is pink one. So here it is kind of swatched on my hand and you can see it starts out looking really bright, but the more you kind of blend it, it kind of gives more of like a stained kind of a look. So I'm going to apply some of this to my cheeks and see how it looks. So the first way I'm going to apply it, I'm going to do like I would do with uh, my cream blushes. I'm going to use like a duo fiber brush like this it's a little bit more of a less densely packed kind of brush so it's going to be easy to kind of buff it into the skin so I'm going to take just a little bit on the back of my hand I'm going to kind of like pick up a little bit on the brush and then kind of like tap some of it off just so I kind of get it a little bit more evenly applied and now I'm going to apply it to my cheeks I want to see how it, this builds up or if it's super crazy and then I'm going to pick up just a little bit more and I'm going to keep like layering this until I get a good color that I like. So this is the side with a little bit of the product on and then this is my bare cheek. Um, so definitely a really soft um, kind of color. I actually really like this so far. I was um, kind of afraid um, that this might be like too easy to build up um, and then you end up with like really saturated like doll cheeks or anything um but this i actually think works really well i love how soft this is you can um build up the color in layers um to kind of get like a really soft kind of diffused look i like this a lot i feel like you can't go wrong with that especially using this type of brush um and then you can see like on my hand uh just kind of like how the color is I really really like this so far. So the next color is the lilac lavender color. This one is a little bit more of like a purple toned kind of one but I think that this one will be actually really pretty. So this is what the color looks like kind of um, blurred out just a little bit. A little bit more of like a purpley toned one. So I'm gonna apply this the same way using this duo fiber brush. I'm gonna pick up just a little bit kind of dot it on and then kind of buff it into the skin. So this is the color lilac lavender on my cheeks. Definitely you can see that it's very um, a wearable color. It's not going to be like the super bright purple. Of course you could layer it up to be that bright but I think that um, you know you don't have to be scared of this type of color. If you think that that one might be like a little too out there for you it's definitely extremely wearable so I'm gonna build it up just a tiny bit to see kind of how it will look so that's it with the color kind of like really put on there um, I kind of went a little overboard so I'm just gonna kind of blend that out a bit with my sponge and so that is the color lilac lavender okay so for the next blush I'm gonna be using the balsam flower red color and so here is a little bit of it on the back of my hand definitely a lot more of a red toned kind of blush um, but definitely as you can see it blends out quite a bit so you don't have to be too too afraid of this one um, because it will you know blend very nicely so this is the side that has the color and this is the side without so you can see it gives this really nice almost like an airbrushed kind of finish look there's no harsh lines of where the blush ends and where my foundation or my other face products begins and so this is the color balsam flower red 
This one is called Baby's Breath Pink. This one is just the lightest pink in the collection. So this is the color in my hand. It's very much more of like a very bright um, baby pink. It has like a slight bit of like a pastel neon, if you will. Um, but again, it shears out very nicely, so you don't have to worry about too much color. All right, so this is Baby's Breath Pink. This is the side with the blush applied, and then this is the side with nothing on it. This one I think is the most subtle of all the colors because it is much more of a lighter color. But even in um, person, uh, I don't know how well it's coming off on camera, even in person I can tell when I'm looking at the side without the blush, I can tell that there is blush on my cheeks. It looks really soft and almost like part of my skin, but I can definitely tell that there is a color there. So I'm not sure if it's showing up much on camera. Um, this one definitely, like I said, is more of a lighter um, and maybe the most subtle of all the colors in this line. Um, but even with that being said, I think it's still, it's not one of those do nothing kind of colors. It's still very, very um, beautiful, very soft. So this is the color Baby's Breath Pink. Okay, so on to the final blush. This one is called Daisy Coral. This one is the most kind of like orange peachiest color in the line. So this is the color kind of swatched out. So you can see that's the overall color tone. And then obviously the more I blend it, the more sheer it gets. So as always, I'm going to apply it with my little tapping and swirling motion. And so that is the color on my cheek. This is Daisy Coral, and then this is the side with nothing on it. So there you go, this is the color Daisy Coral. And so here it is built up just a little bit so you can kind of see that the color, um, I don't know how well it's coming off on camera, but in person, I can definitely tell I have blush on. So even though it's a very subtle product, it definitely does make a difference on the skin. So I love that these are in a convenient little squeeze tubes. They're very easy to dispense the right amount of product. And you also don't have to worry about those like drying out as fast as like an open face um, cream blush. Like this is one I've been using for quite a while, it's the Sephora Pantone one. This one is a cream blush, but this one I'm afraid like if I leave it open too long, it might dry out. But these, since they are liquids and they are in an airtight container, you don't really have to worry about that as much. So what I really like about these blushes is that they are very easy to use. They are, as the name suggests, a watercolor kind of finish. So they have a very um, sheer, transparent kind of color to them. So when I first swatch them, you can see like how bright and fun the colors are, but as you blend blend them. They really um, blend like pretty seamlessly into the skin. I have been wearing them on and off over the past few days and every time I wear them I feel like it just looks so pretty on my skin and it looks very undetectable. So these I feel like are actually really good for people who have dry skin. I feel like it works great for oily skin too um, but especially if you are a dry skin girl and you kind of just don't like the dry feeling of a powder blush I would say definitely give these a try because they are so simple to use. So since these colors are more of a sheer formula. I love that because it makes it so easy to work with. This other one, I have the Sephora Pantone one. This cream is a straight up cream. I'll do a swatch of this just so you can kind of get an idea of how intense cream blushes can be. So the top is the Sephora cream blush. This one is the lilac lavender color one. And if I blend it out, so you can see when I first swipe it, those colors, it's very intense. But the more I blend this, you can see it starts to sheer out and really does have a see-through kind of quality to it. You can actually build up the color if you do want a more intense kind of look. So I feel like these are very versatile blushes to use. You can apply them very sparingly to get just a light wash of color, or you can build up that color if you want that kind of look. These blushes also don't appear to have any added fragrance or any scent to it at all. So if you have sensitive skin or if you just like to steer clear of products with fragrancing, this one I believe does not have any. I also like that these kind of have like a stain the look to the cheek without actually staining the skin at all. So that's another thing that I really like because it gives a very natural almost like um slightly dewy look to the skin but you don't have to worry about any staining or any hard to remove colors now of course i don't think it's necessary to buy all five colors but i like to do these review videos so you can get an idea of what the colors look like and how you can choose the best color for you i would definitely recommend picking up maybe one or two of these if uh they interest you i don't think you'll regret it because they are such really nice products i feel like my skin looks just really beautifully um kind of like blushed you know there's not this like 
obvious bright pink kind of stripe on my face or anything like that that can sometimes be a little heavy-handed with like powder blushes um, I feel like this just looks very nice and dewy and fresh and just really youthful so for me is this a buy or bye bye I think it's pretty obvious that I love these products I have to give this a 100% buy I'm super happy with these I'm gonna continue to use these up and yeah I would totally totally recommend these if these are something that you seem interested in I would say go for one pick one up and uh, give it a try. So that is it for this bye or bye bye video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram. Link is below. And until my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.